Morning, Mr. B. Morning, Mrs. B. How was your sleep in the bed? My chair was comfortable last night as usual. Oh, f he's funny, isn't he? No, he slept in the bed. My sleep. I had, after that noise, woke me up and I thought we were rolling backwards. Because we're on chocks really high up on the left hand side. I was having dreams about the bloody motorhome rolling back like really, really bad down the road. And you were running <laughs> to the front of the cab trying to put the handbrake on and your foot on the brake to stop it going. It was absolutely horrible. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> you mad dog. Nucky Monster was a poorly boy yesterday last night after his complete mentals of going through the ford running in the ford he went all hyper and had his super hyper run round in a circle if you watched it he was limping last night on his back left leg it wasn't even weight bearing on it they weren't even limping on it was he really well, he just weren't weight bearing on it last january he had tplo surgery and then he, 18 months before that, he had his other leg done. So he's got metal plates and screws in both his back legs. He's on short walks today. Aren't you, puppy? Well, he's a beautiful boy. Look at him. Ain't he just beautiful? Right? And this is a lovely view. This is out the bedroom window. Gorgeous. So clear. That's where the big mobile phone mast is. So we were watching Netflix last night. Wasn't we? Yeah. Watching The Witcher. I don't think I was very impressed. Right outside the window. Outside the door. Having a good scratch on a post. You can hear the skylarks as well. This is why we love it up here. Ponies. and a beautiful view. Right, we decided to leave Exmoor. There's too many vans up there. We went up to County Gate and there was too many there as well. So, what a knob. So we're on our way to, um, yeah, we're on our way to Isles Beer Common by Sidmouth. Right everybody, today we are going to cook a chilli, a veggie chilli, in 
and Mr. D's cook pot. We've never ever used it before, so this is like brand new for us. So, right, to open it, I haven't got a clue. Oh, that was easy. Oh no. Oh, is it just come like that? Does it unclick on that No, nope, no, nope, just lifts up like that, a lid. Is that a bit close? I might have come forward. Don't drag it. Okay, that's a pain in the ass already. Let's turn it sideways. Right, you get a lid. Right. And you get the inner pot. We've got the five litre one. What's the bottom look like? Yeah, apparently yeah. it's got a big fat steel or something bottom. Yes. And you can cook it on gas, electric, ceramic, blah, 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 yep. allergen, anything. And don't put it on work services because it's got four, four three metal oh, brackets. You mean when on it's it. hot? No, anytime. If you look underneath, oh, okay. look underneath. There's three metal things yeah. sticking up. Don't put it on the work surface, hot or cold, unless you want them scratched or yes. on top of a tea towel, I would say. I would say but too. I wouldn't even put it on a work surface when it's hot. It's meant no. to be nuclear. It is. Is that where? Let's have a look at it. Have a look at it. Show people what it looks like. What's that saying there? Caution, bloody hot. <laughs> Mm. That's what it truffin says. And this is Mr. D's thermal cooker, five litre. Should we move right. that while you do your cooking or something or whatever you want to do? Uh, can you not put it where? On the floor for now, that's what we can do. <sighs> okay. Put it over there then. It's already a pain, isn't it? <laughs> Get a bigger motor at home. So, it's got onion. I can never get through it. I've used two little ones. First onion was crap. This one's better. And I'll do mine chunky chunk. Pick it in. A 300 gram punnet. I'll use the whole punnet. Of shrooms. And I cut on kitchen roll to protect the work surface. Right, one pepper. I don't normally put a pepper in. I put normally put um tin of sweet corn in, don't I? Don't I? Yes you do, dearest, yes you do. I'm gonna be so okay. <laughs> and not be then I. And I am a sweet corn snob. It's gotta be green giant. It's gotta be the salad crisp. We ain't got no sweet corn, so just to get an extra veg portion down our neck, we're having a pepper. Just throwing it in, not got a clue how it's going to turn out. Normally turns out really good in the slow cooker, but time will tell. And it's a tin of, they whole or chopped, tin of chopped tomatoes. And a bit of water to use the tin. Tin of beans, we use HP. A tin of red kidney beans in chilli sauce. Tip them in. Salt. I've got a thing where I count. 20 and 20. Pepper. Right, then we have ground cumin. This is half a teaspoon. You need three teaspoons. So I need six of these, but I do them heaped. Because I overkill. I'll just do it. Three mild chilli powder. So six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Most important, spiked paprika, six teaspoons. I don't, ugh. I presume Carl bought this up. So, 12 of these. One, two, three, 12. They're off a bloody jar. Bag of corn means. 
activities of veggie version. I don't know what you do if you eat meat. You've probably got to brown the mince first and then chuck it in. And then we need to mix it all up. And, and then apparently we're going to boil it for 10 minutes with the lid on. Yeah, cook it. Well, we've got to boil it, apparently so, for 10 minutes. So we've got to wait for that. So we'll come back when it looks like it's getting hot. Right, we're just going to check it. Not sure how long it's been bubbling for. It sounds bubbly. Is it like sticking on the bottom? Which to me it sounds like it is, but hopefully it ain't. Right, we're going to give it another two minutes. Yeah, I can see it bubbling. Just worried about stuff sticking on the bottom. Oh, give it a good stir and whack it in the thing. Yeah, but then when you turn the lid off, it loses temperature, oh, doesn't it? Okay, well, give it a stir. Oh, you've already haven't yet. So just leave it yeah. a couple, leave it a few minutes, and then just put it straight in. Here. Yeah, I'll leave it two minutes. What was that in there? It's a, it's a pressure relief valve with a, sit with a little bear ball in it. Okay. And you get a free What's one. Obviously, we get so much pressure, it blows the ball out, doesn't it? Oh, great. Now, the ball just goes ping, 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 ping across here. In here? Yeah. You have the goals in the motor. Oh, yes, and Aldis. Ooh. Right, turning it off. I don't think it's bloody hot enough. This is a trouble, isn't it? So, we put it in there. Is that it? Yep. Leave down. Is that it as well? That's it. Leave it now. Right. And it is, I don't know what time. I think it's about half five. Half five, half six, half seven, half eight. We'll try it at nine o'clock. We don't normally have our tea till nine o'clock on the night anyway. Are you feel me? Yes. Right, I'm cutting the top off because bloody Microwaves are short. Too short. Yes, we shouldn't use this guys. Yep. Look. Microwave. Off grid again. Off grid microwave. Right. Come and have it. Roundy round. Ready. Yeah. It looks alright. Is it cooked? I don't know, find out, won't we? Oh, I think I've got too much chilli in there. <laughs> right, onion is very slightly, still hard. Yeah, that's fine, I like onion though. So it might um, be worth cooking the onion in that for... that hot, so we probably should have boiled it a bit longer. Mmm. So it's edible, but it's not like piping hot. It's like you can dish it up now and eat it, basically. Yeah. Well, look, we're being honest. Well, you're not pointing it at me, are you? Can you see me? Yeah. We're being honest. Right. Because it looked quite dry, I was worried about boiling it too much and it all sticking to the bottom of the pan. But I think if I had done that, it would have been hotter. Yeah. We will try again another day. Yep. Chili con carne and rice. And there's two more portions in the pot for us to have another day. At least it was an honest review. Wasn't it, dear? It was.